Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the disembodied voice of Howard. My friends call me Howard Goldman. You could call me Howard. And this is a historic first broadcast here at WBIG TV remote from the new home of Lounge Academy, which is the Hyatt Regency Buffalo. And uh, we're getting ready to, to go on. Um, we, we start at uh, five. I'm multitasking here, which is why my, my normally halting voice characteristics, halted voice characteristics, are even more exaggerated at the second. Yes, Barbara Fisher. We got Barbara Fisher. Um, here, I'll give you a, more more views. I'm going to give Barbara Fisher a tour of our new digs. Now, this is just you know we, we could we could do a lot of customizing and stuff. I kind of like it just like this, but I'm sure. Uh, where you, what am I supposed to do? I wanted to assist in the tour. Oh, Mary Mary's going to assist in the tour <laughs> for. For Barbara Fisher. Okay, great. Now I can see your comments. Yes, Brenda. It is a great space. You're going to love it. You're going to want to come back early. I was telling Brenda how beautiful Let's it is. Let's give Brenda and Barbara a tour. Now, as you can see, now the piano was a big shock. They keep it locked, where you can't you can't open it. And when they opened it, I was stunned and delighted to see this was the Jackie Jocko piano with all his stuff on it. Um, I played this there piano. There's no piano like it in the world. You'd know it if you no, ran right. across it on the other side of the world. And it's been missing. We, we didn't know where it was. I yes. even came here looking for it. Yeah, I was wondering. I was uneasy about it. I didn't want it just to disappear. You know, you never knew what right. would happen. To right. Because the original story was it was going to be, be moved to another uh, location. That was before the sale of the hotel. Yeah. And uh, anyway, let's. Uh, I'll show you what we got on here. We're actually... Um, we're so close to the bar, we're it's above so it. Great you get an area view of the bar. Yeah, we're actually ab above the bar. The bar is straight. You can see people <laughs> sitting at the bar, right down there. And the um, this is very James Bond-ish. We have our own escalator to come up to Lounge Academy. Isn't that great? And we got heavy-duty security guy on yes. down there making sure everything's on the up and up. We're here at the, in case you're guessing, although I did say so, uh, we're, we're at the Hyatt downtown. Uh, the reason we're here, uh, we got we got thrown out at friendly security staff waving to the home audience. Um, we got uh, evicted from our 11-year uh, engagement at the Buffalo uh, historic Buffalo Statler Hotel uh, for, for good reason. Um, they closed it for remodeling. It's going to be a couple of years to, to remodel the Statler, and it's going to be even more beautiful than we've seen it in our lifetimes. And it's, it was already the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Um, so they uh, moved us over here. They wanted to keep the show on the road. The, the brass, the, the big guys up up, the, up in the executive suites were... Um, I love this location. And, and with, with great help from the lounge cadets themselves, we had some um, persistent, uh, influential lounge cadets. I, I won't mention the names name or names yet but um, but I'm very grateful that they um, lobbied on our behalf uh, and decisions were made and uh, they wanted us and here comes Rich Sellers home favorite it's great to have Rich be the, the, the first lounge cadet up here well, you look great Rich are you here for a wedding or for us no I was just dropping by 
Good. I saw that Goldman was playing down here. Today. I heard that too. This is a very busy place. Yeah. It's a shock. Is it something? I was used to the Statler. I know. I thought the place was closed, and I came it's here like to check it out. Everyone in, in full around swing. the world's come to the Hyatt tonight to stay the weekend or something. Yeah, it's busy. Yeah. Do you, do you like our uh, Rich? Do you like our escalator? Yeah. It's fine. Everything's it's kind of James Bondy, isn't it? You come up here. Look at this. Oh. You come off. Ladies and gentlemen, you come up. There's the base of the escalators down there. Now, over here, you'll notice how beautiful this is. This is the facade of the old uh, building that was here. I believe it was the Genesee Hotel. Um, you, historians could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm. that's my understanding. That's the original cast iron facade. It's beautiful. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, president of WBIG. Oh, yeah. TV, oh, Ryan Lysars. It's good to be here. His historic first, getting some, some white on your face, <laughs> historic first trip up the escalator. Yes. Uh, along with Zach. I like it here. Hello. We have to tip the camera up it. to see yeah. Zach. Yes. Imagine how bright and sunny it'll be. Nice to see you, summer. sir. I know. I know. Nice but but it's nice in the winter too. because it makes you feel like well, you're I'm in sure a kind of greenhouse. Right. I love the palm yeah. trees over there. Refamiliarizing. I've always liked it. Their relationships. Uh, everybody's very happy to be reuniting. Reuniting this evening after. I'm still uh, bugged by the mask. I'm not sure if I should wear a mask. You don't need a mask. Screw a mask the mask. Because the governor said it's no more, more right? Right. Yeah. Do what the governor says. There's no mask. You never know what they do to you if you don't listen to them. You know? Yeah, look what's happening. If wear you a mask. To the government. They'll move uh, you. Or they'll. they'll or they'll ruin you. I'm glad I wasn't scanned. Yeah, now now metal, don't wear a mask. I, I brought this down for you tonight. My, wow. my owner. Wow, look at that. The old Larry Adler harp. That's a beauty. It is. It's got a lot of balls. Well, don't we all? So then, we, okay, I'm giving the tour. So you come up these beautiful escalators. There's all kinds of just uh, an embarrassment of riches as far as bathroom facilities. On this floor, see you don't have to you don't have to leave the uh, this level to uh, go to the powder room. Not at all. It's this really well uh, set up. Now you come up, you come up here. That's right. Yes, that's right. Genesee Hotel, designed by E. B. Green. Very good, Melissa Grace, lounge cadet, in good standing. And then you come up and look what we got here. We got this beautiful, beautiful view of Main Street, the Gold Dome, the electric tower building, the, uh, the, the businesses on Main Street that are all being relit. And uh, it's like our own thing here. You know, it feels like you know, I like this space a lot. I, I know that. I like it because I know the lounge cadets are going to like it. I, I'm very confident of that. And uh, for the teetotalers like me that need a buzz, we've got our, our own Starbucks right here. Okay. So they're just ready to pump you full of caffeine. And they, and they know how to do it. And there's a lot of auxiliary lounging area around here. Like if you get sick of looking at me, you can uh, you can see the lounge cadets, the, 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 the high priests of the lounge academy. Ryan and Zach and Mary, they're, they're downstairs ordering drinks. We could spy on them with this. Oops. I just made the... They're the first, they're buying the first historic drinks here. Yeah, that's right, Jay Anderson. Second floor in the atrium, it's called the Sun Terrace, uh, which is a very good name for it. And uh, setting up the equipment today went really well. You know, knock on wood, I'm, I don't want to jinx it, but the equipment, uh, the transmitting equipment is working uh, really good. Cameo appearance here by flipping the camera around. Well, I guess I can't. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to show you some new, some camera angles we have for you tonight. Okay, here we are. Sorry about that. Um, I had to switch back to the microphone at the piano. And uh, uh, you can see by the split screen, uh, we've got, I got some good, you know, I can improve upon these in time, but this is pretty good. I, I, my instincts, you know, I wanted to like, get more of the Vista, but, you know, it's going to be dark out normally, but I guess it's not. It's five. It, uh, it's five and it's not dark. See, I didn't. I'm usually not up yet. Here's the this we we call this the finger cam, and you can see Jocko is writing here. I I you went the feeling I had when I opened this and saw this. I mean, it, it, went, went, it went right through me. It must have been that way. For sure, I feel the same way, but you've known him so much better. Everyone well, Jack. everybody loves them. Everyone um, loves Jack. Yes. Now the um, <clears throat> this is the far cam. You guys could tell me if you like this camera angle. It can it'll kind of give you an idea of the whole. Uh, Marty Binney has it. The, it actually started uh, nine minutes ago, but I'm 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 buying. I'm buying time. I'm cheating. I'm talking instead of playing. And then we have uh, this this camera angle, which uh, explains itself. This is, and then we've got uh, oh, this is this is on the gimbal that I could I could pick it up and aim at uh, lounge cadets when they're you know being uh, really racy. We've got the split. Now here's something brand new for you, ladies and gentlemen. This is a rotating camera scene um, where it'll automatically it'll give you full screen images uh, in a, on a rotating basis automatically so I, I, I kind of like that I think it might become one of our defaults Frederick and Gary Marino are here. The party's official now. We better start. plays two strings instead of three. Well, they're all a little different. This is a nice, this is a very nice piano. They're both Yamahas. No, they're no, the other one is a Kurtzman. Misses everyone. 
one. We miss Brenda, right, Rich? She's suffering down in Florida. Switch this camera to uh, to this one here. Well, you're gonna have to. Uh, here we go. You're gonna have to demand some stools up here to go around the camera. Yeah. Well, we'll um, make our demands. Later. I, yeah, I didn't say anything, and because um, I don't believe in making any plans, and, and usually whatever happens is better than what I think of. Mm -hmm. So, came up and was like, "This is awesome. We've got E.B. Greens of." These are their actual tables from E.B. Greens, and I like the way they're set up. Zach looks comfortable. people watching. Nothing's going on in there yet, uh, Marty Benny asks. Good question. As far as the restaurant, there is a uh, Chat. I just hit the chat. Ooh, live chat. Here we go. Um, I use one of those hotel carts. You know those big brass things. And I, I brought everything up from valet. All the equipment. So I didn't use my little hand truck. I was not wheeling this down the street like I'm accustomed to. It seemed weird.
What should our first historic song be? I haven't played one yet, I'm just noodling. sort of a uh, toast with hot mamas. Not sure what that was about. Shout out to Mike Duffy, my roofing guy. Thought I saw him walking in the back of the room here in our virtual lounge. And Diana Woodworth from YYZ. Everybody to go to 
There, there's Mark Weber crossing the street there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Now we got the A team. Did, did Sean uh, serve you guys? Was he working with you and your group? There's Mark Weber. He's, he's in a uh, music video that uh, helped propel him to stardom. He's an amazing man. He's an amazing singer. There's our security guy. He's going to throw us all out. He's smiling, kind of goodness. You never know how it's going to go with these guys at first. If you get off on the right foot, it helps. Or else you get a piece of their right foot. Well, thank you, Mark Weber. The true giant in the Buffalo music community and well beyond.
we're like we're like the cutter in the Niagara River. We break up the ice. I could do whatever I want over here. Nobody knows the difference. I'd like to welcome Commander Tom Jones back to the Bunch Academy. What a great cadet he is. He's the original cadet. Trying to switch cameras. Here we go. Now, can you can you see the snow falling in the background? And look at trains going by. There's trains going by. There's snow. It's like a giant snow globe with my friends in it. There's. This is the place to watch the ball drop. I can tell you that. Isn't this great? Well, we really proved our theory that if you don't make plans, the best things happen. A little bit of Gary Marino's theme song. Thank you, Mike Duffy. It's nice of you to take time out on your roof to say hi to us. If anybody needs a roof or, or other things as well, but I just, I love his roofs. That's Mike Duffy right there. You can see him on Facebook, get a hold of him. He'll climb up on your roof like, like he's a squirrel. Along with David. I love David because he works all the fine lounges and restaurants as a top tier waiter in another life. Those guys have talent. They go into hurricane disasters and, and just start roofing for the government. While everybody else is fleeing, Mike Duffy's heading there with his chainsaw. just want to like map the entire space you know so they've got it all in there 
It's Audrey Clark. Ooh, yeah, Audrey Clark. She's in lounge at me. With you and me. All the way from Ohio town. Audrey Clark is lounge royalty. She was the, and remains, by ex officio status, the founding founding president of the Jackie Chaco Fan Club back in 1953. She's got some great photographs and some great memories. And in the year 2053, maybe she'll set up one for me. If I deserve it. To give you a play-by-play -play of the lounge activity, we've got uh, Frederick and Gary are they're scheming up some lounge activities, probably for later no, tonight. Wow, well, well, I'm always thinking, Howard. I know you, he is. You need. I could. I could feel the heat from your thinking. Look at. 
Maybe if the stadium throws like one if, out. Yeah, the stadium, right? Exactly. It's a perfect place. Can you be yeah. up there? There's just so many possibilities. I, know, I like that. Well, then you go to the bar downstairs. Jerry's going to come up with something fabulous. Is this amazing? I'm channeling Jocko. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it. Look, you know, they, they, you know, it's all locked. All right, I gotta take and, this Ferrari. Um, and we, we set up, and they, they came up and unlocked it for us. Ferrari. Now I told Ari, he asked me, he said he's a Jocko's yeah, piano, I know, so and I actually like thought about it, and then I lied. I told Mary about it. I lied to Ari. I said, yeah, like saying you're an actor. You know, I said, yeah, it's Jocko's piano, but I had. I didn't even come over and look at it and open it because I thought it was the piano that used to be over on the on the other balcony. Ari, it's for Jocko's years. piano. It really is, yeah. Ari, I'm sorry I lied to you and said it was Jocko's piano, but it turned out. It is. It is. And I was totally shocked when they unlocked it and opened it. Jocko's fingers have touched these keys. And I felt this like jolt go through me. You know what I mean? It was like I felt weak in the knees. It was just like, oh my God, I found the piano. Because I was worried about where it, where it went, you know? Mr. Paganini. <laughs> There's some, some, some women's phone numbers. Ah. Where, where, are, is it still, where is it? They peeled it off. Oh, yeah, they didn't want you to have that. Mr. Huge, remember? <laughs> yeah. he, he, he departed. He was, he was a funny guy. His beautiful girlfriend. Her phone number was right here. I remember. What is this? A case it's not there now. Was it in case he forgot what to play? <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're looking at um, Jocko's. He only knew a thousand, a billion songs. Yeah, these are all Jocko's markings during the 25 years that he played this piano Sun comes out. in the other room. Perdido, Blue Flame, Skylark. Uh, we miss Jocko. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. Alright, sure do. Play on. Hey, take the torch, it's like the Olympic torch. It's well. like the Olympic torch. <laughs> wow. Well, we, we, you know, we carry on the best we can. Olean's Cannabis Rec Center. That sounds like a fun place. It's a different vibe than the last time I played it, I can tell you that. The last time I played this piano, I, fi I filled in for Jocko. I was the first person to fill in for Jocko in 20 years that he was here at that time. And I wound up go going for uh, about a month and a half because he couldn't, he was middle winter, he was sick, he couldn't come back until he did. But I was so unready, you know. But Everybody insists that I did, and I didn't want to let him down because he'd been coaching me for several years. Because he wanted me to be able to do that. So it, was, it was absolutely terrifying. I mean, I, it was more terrifying than when I had the solo of a helicopter the first time. Yeah, no, not, now it's like I don't care. I mean, I mean, I've written, you know, I met one with my my deficiencies. They tuned it for the guy who played here a couple weeks ago. <laughs> they, they had an event. They had a wedding. Yeah. Playing this piano and just noodling around, it's like... It's 
like pouring yourself into a hot tub. Just, just floating around. Maybe we all died or something and this is heaven. Make any plans? I can't give you anything but love. And your own camera angle. Ooh, baby, that's the only thing. Plenty of love, my baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. Sure to find happiness and I'll guess all those things you've always pined for achieve. I'd like to see you look and swell. My baby, diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell. My baby, till that lucky day, you know darn well. Yeah, you know where everybody is at all times. It's actually easy to see. Awareness. Yes, he is easy to see. 
That's right, we have the high ground here. All these kids are in this hockey tournament. Look at that kid. That reminds me of me when I was a kid. You recreationally go up and down the escalators. You go yeah, up to the top sure. and then he just turns around and goes back down. <laughs> Ride the escalator. Kathy Moses, we have a lot of yeah. hockey players here tonight. Um, a bunch of kids are here for hockey tournaments, and these are these are sharp kids. They're like little pro players. You can tell them. They they're very mature. The piano game too. Yeah. He looked like he's probably fierce on the ice too. Yeah. He looked he like he looked yeah, like he like he's like a strong little kid. Yeah, like he he kicked the crap out of him. Ryan is wiser. He's not on the draft. Official. The president gives it the okay. I'm so glad that they're not downstairs. I love it. I know. I know. That's why it proves don't make any plans. At first, I thought it would be nice to be downstairs, but after spending some time down there, I'm glad we're up here. No, this is, yeah. I didn't, I, I thought it would be cool because we'd be like right at a bar, you know, which, which, is, uh, which is a little more challenging, but it's kind of what this is about. Um, there's a, you know, it's a different thing. I like this better. There's kids down there. There's kids, yeah, you know, that's not really my bag. I mean, I like kids and everything, but I like work, working with, you know, the adults up here where it gives them a chance to get away from, from everything. Yeah. I love the background scenery that we have. You couldn't get anything better than this. This would be like, uh, you know, when they design a, a fake news set where they show the city <laughs> yeah, right. in the background. Yeah, it is. It looks like a green screen. Yeah. Look at now. Now it's lit up. It got darker out, and uh, I mean the vista here is, is absolutely insane. Look at that. In the main street, businesses are being reopened. Lounge cadets back there. Sorry, you probably couldn't hear me too well. I was looking away from the mic. But uh, look, look at that. I love this. I mean, this is just. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, of course It's great. I mean, could we have possibly dreamed anything up this nice? That's why we didn't, right? Not to mention piano. Not to mention we have Jocko's piano, which is yeah which is just an indescribable thing. That's all right, those are sharp kids. They're not your usual kids. These are like pro hockey players kids. some requests to get through. This was not one of Lounge Academy story to tell you one of these. I, I'm going to save it. 
It's about Ray Emmerman and Lounge Academy. But thank you. Ray, it was such a shock when they opened this piano. And it was Jocko's piano. And they had no clue. They, they, they you know, they weren't here then. They don't, they don't, they never heard of Jackie Jocko. Which made, which made the whole thing even more powerful. You know, it's crazy. I mean, I could have fallen over. I felt this like shock go through me, you know, like weakness. Like, oh my God. Plus, it, plus it's a beautifully playing piano. I mean, just as a piano, it's a, it's a beautiful piano. It's so responsive. No, not this one. Not the one they threw me out of the sailor with. In your cartoon. They didn't really throw me out of the sailor. Looking over my shoulder. You can't win, Rich. There's an abrupt change. We'll do this one. How it 
songs in. It's going to land right on us. We're, right, we're at ground zero. I'll do it next week for you. itself. Look, we even have a flag. I was driving by last summer and there was a guy up there cleaning the windows on the outside. They have to crawl. There, there's a name. I learned there's an actual architectural name for that type of window. And there's a special, like, the company has to be able to do those kind of windows in order to hire them to do it um, because of the uh, particular challenges and, and required equipment. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Though, so. Is he like, hooked up to the roof and then he's got to like hang out? 
He was he was laying on the thing. I'm, he must have been on a court with OSHA. They make you do everything, which I would certainly want to do that. Okay, we'll get back to this request. This was requested in 2021. Sir, our own Barry Moore. Yeah, the, isn't the room great, Barry? It's unbelievable. Wait, 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 you see it in person. Your eyes, your eyes. touch mine I'm afraid the masquerade
cadets. Let's see, make sure we're giving you the, the best possible views. Oh man, I feel like we're practically family. Because I know. Well, so Dorothy is your family. Yeah, with Hastings, ladies and gentlemen. What's she doing right now? I He's the biggest, biggest commercial broker in town. Guy's unbelievable. Sells buildings that aren't even for sale. He's talking to big guy, Dave Corbett, who's flipped a building or two in his day, and this is his day. We try to gossip as much as possible about the Lounge Cadets, because this is reality. Great hockey players here tonight. I've never seen so many athletes in one place. I would not want to face these guys on the ice. Not even a slippery sidewalk. You can tell. You can tell they're good. There's a kid practicing checking. He just checked me. Just checked the, the escalator. Got up like the kid's unbreakable. <laughs> I would not have been good at hockey. I would have gotten creamed. You scored a goal. Nice. Well, you're 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 athletic. You do da daredevil things like ride horses and races and stuff. things in Toronto town. Greg is listening live in uh, New York City. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Greg. It's great having you here at this historic first night of uh, the, new, uh, the new crib of Lounge Academy. We only had to move one parking lot over. Everybody can still park in their same familiar parking spaces. In fact, for the last three locations we've had, somebody could theoretically just keep their favorite parking space. Whether it was at our, our mansion for our private parties that we had for years, or the Statler, which was just next door to that. And, and this, this establishment is on the other side of our house. The mansion, people like to call it, well, through another parking lot. We're, we're really situated right in the middle of the parking lots of these great hotels. What's that, Richie? I did. Yeah. Uh, it's a. It's really a dream to be at this. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a beautiful thing. I know, I know. Richie wants us to write a song about Buffalo. There was a town named Buffalo where everybody would say hello. Even riding in an elevator People don't usually talk in elevators, but they they do in Buffalo. songs written about escalators.
Gary Marino. This goes out to Gary Marino. You think the PA is loud enough? Because people aren't laughing at all my jokes. That's how I adjust my PA. If they don't laugh, I know it's like the PA must not be up high enough. So like Angela is just looking back. Should I bring it up a little? Oh, a little more? Okay. I know what to do about that. Okay, how's that? Better? I can make it even more. If it's, if it's too boomy in here, I just have to bring up the sibilance. Yeah. Is it, how's that? Thank you, Angela. She understands show business. I can tell it sounds much, it's easier now. It was too boomy before for this room. We'll dial it in. She knows, she knows everything about show business. Here, back to Gary Marino's request. He requested this three years ago. We're just getting to it. We're a little delayed with COVID We're processing these. And Joe's going to hang out with me at the foot of the piano. Oh, she's going to hang out with Ellen. Well, that counts. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain, I've got some habits, even Gary Marino can't explain. I'll start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? And I'll daydream. I've got daydreams for cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends. Leave the keys in the door. Why try to change? Can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me. I can't feel my kind of crazy world. Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Now. That's a great Psych Holman tune. I know Vicky. Vicky in Denmark loves that song, but she can't go to go to bed at night until she hears it. Because it's right now it's probably like about two in the morning in Denmark. Happy Valentine's Day back to you, Vicky. Things are starting to reopen in Toronto according to Diana. That's great news, especially for Diana. Lynn Averill. 
congratulations to you as a lounge cadet on your new digs. sell houses, she sells blocks of houses, whether they want to or not. Huge's beautiful girlfriend's phone number is right here. It's not there. Somebody took it. Do you remember her name? What was her name? She was great. Remember Huge from the sides of buses? The guy that. Yeah. Other than this Huge, he sold all the cars. Yeah, for Chulo. Yeah, he used to come. He used to come in. historic evening for me and our cadets. I played this heart of mine and now I look and that's the first one if you're reading like, oh, really? like you know, if you're Jewish and you're reading from the right to the left. Is this just remind him of all the songs that he knows? I think so. Yeah, like just, because if you think about it, if you know every song in the world but you can't, I mean, what should I play? Yeah, you just need the title. And, oh, okay, you just look, oh yeah, I can play that one, I can play that one. He's got 500 of them right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these are just the quick, the, the safety songs. If you need a safe space, you run with these. The original post it's That's right. Yeah. That happens to me all the time. This piano should be, by the way, it should be in the Buffalo Music Hall of Fame. Well, it should be registered. No one's going to see it. It's there. <laughs> Spinning the camera, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I don't. You guys don't want to see my face. You get enough of that. But I want you to see the cadets. There's Mary. Everyone wants to see Mary. This is a this is a really great sounding piano. You can play it really soft. You just get this beautiful ringing. Inventory so I could tweak it. This 
the only one I found. This one here is a little round. That's uh, that's two above high C, two above middle C. It's Connie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of two octaves above middle C, there's Connie herself. No, C. C, senor. No, two octaves above middle C. Yeah. It's a little round. Well, there's three strings. And at least one of them is a, a little off. It's off a few cents. Gives it a rounder, kind of a chorusy effect. See here's. See that's tighter sounding. It's a little round. If you tune pianos, you, you can hear that. Actually, there's a wrench in the bench. A wrench in the bench. Oh, yeah. Wrench in a bench. Wrench in a bench. It rang. Make a good song. I'm so happy that the uh, Ray Emmerman, I'm so, I'm so happy that the lounge cadets are besides them, beside themselves with thrill over our new environment here. It's kind of a, see, they're applauding. That, that's, that's kind of a sterile word, though. Our, our environment. Like, like we're a plant specimen. Our new lounge. That's what it is. It's more than an environment. It's a lounge. It's a place we always want to be when we're not here. That's what your lounge is. Vicky says hi to Mary. I remember playing this piano in 2014. It was like going to the electric chair. I was so scared. Now I'm senile and I just don't care. of sound. Speaking of splashes of sound, I gotta get a, uh, a classier thing to drink out of when I'm on Lounge Academy. I need a tuxedo and I need a glass. You know? Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Lounge Academy. Now the party's gonna start. Make yourselves comfortable, you know where everything is. Don't fall over the railings. Though. There's people down there. There's hockey players down there. Oh yeah, they play hockey. Checkers. It's a different form of checkers. Get hot 
hockey players worked up. Drives them crazy. They're going to be chucking each other all over the place. Look at that. They're always working out. They're always training. I never work out. A blue belt? Wow. That's pretty cool. Search and destroy. <laughs> There's one. I do this is for all the people that have like redundancy in their life. <laughs> Somebody hit your car when you were parked. Remember? And I, I made him put his name on the windshield. Okay, here's a song for the redundant lovers. Again. This couldn't happen again. is that once in a lifetime
again. There was for Barbara Henley. Nice to see you, Barbara. Well, thank you. Oh, those notes. Nothing can ever happen to those notes. I'm going to warn the, uh, the hotel about that. They keep it locked. But, but they, they didn't understand. The, they weren't familiar with the story behind those notes. I'm going to make sure they are. Just to make doubly sure that proper reverence is... Search and Destroy. There's one. I, isn't that a great introduction to the song? I'm going to say, here's one. Lounge Academy, we never stop learning. We never stop educating. We never stop lounging. We never stop drinking out of cans. comes Gary and Connie. This one's for Gary and Connie. You know, now that we're here at the Hyatt, we know, we know that our tomorrows are safe, right, Connie? Yes. We weren't sure. I mean, we were sure, but we didn't know how it was going to happen. Where's your camera? Connie just kissed my head. Here's me and Connie. Life is good. Right? Today, Nicado, I may not have a thing at all, except for just a dream or two. I've got lots of plans for tomorrow. All my tomorrows. Drifting in the laughs of you. I've got rainbows planned for tomorrow. All my tomorrows belong to you. No one knows better than I that love keeps. Passing me by, that's fate. But with you there by my side, I'll still be turning the tide. Just wait. Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn. No wonder it's such a good song. Those guys are ringers. That's actually, that's not too bad. That means we're not dropping a lot of frames. We dropped a few, 
we've dropped 1,801 frames. But we started the live stream um, before it went on the air. It was on for an hour before it went on the air. So, so that's pretty good statistics. I make most of my requests. This is for Rosemary. Was this the first song we sang on Smeal Together, Rosemary? I think it may be. This is for Rosemary. She was my first Smeal song, and I kept it as my headline song because Rosemary is so great, she became a lounge cadet and friend of mine. Here's to you, Rosemary. I was chugging out of that metal can for Rosemary. She's a great singer. She's a great driver, too. She live streams while she's driving. Oh, yeah, here's a song we're going to do. Right, Rosemary, is this the one we did? Let's see if I can remember it. on Boolean algebra. Oh, thank you, thank you. That one contains if-then statements. adjustments for you guys. There we go. 
get a little more of the action in the scene. Now we'll go over to the rotating. How do you guys like these? This, uh, these the rotating cameras. You get a full, instead of just a split screen, you get a full size screen of each image, and then it, it changes every so many uh, moments or seconds. Let me know if you think it should be faster or slower. Thank you, Rosemary. That was our first song, because I remember you singing it. When I got into the middle of the song, I remember your phrasing. You had some nice phrasing in there. That stuck with me. Here's a nice Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn song from The Joker's Wild. Somebody loves you. It's no good unless she loves you. All the way. Happy to be near you. When you need someone to cheer you. second historic can of pop at the highest. I didn't drink any, I just opened it. Oh yeah. I like the far cam. Here's the far cam. How do you guys like the far cam? Far cam's kind of cool because it sort of brings in the enormity of uh, this whole endeavor. Nice to see my old buddy Eddie out there. self-contained on their own. I use these weighted base mic stands for those cameras, so there's nothing to trip over. They have a very small footprint. They get a good workout moving them here. Shout out to Christine. part of whatever kind of stuff. 
on time pulling. She's always she's always up for it, whether it's the whether it's the steam seizure on bench or the green trash can or the booth. Whatever escapade we were on Bay Shore. Christy is always always into it. big loungers, the celebrity loungers here tonight for our opening night, which is exactly the way I wanted it. You know, we didn't do any advertising. Um, I just sent the word out to the inner circle. Traveling salesman. It's like, it's like a soft opening. You're traveling salesman over there. Who wouldn't buy something from him? He looks very, you know, convincing. Sample case. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Kuma, sir. It's great to see you in the listening and interactive. He's also been in studio many times. He's been on both sides of the camera. I like your new cat. Jerome has a new cat. A female orange cat, which are kind of rare. The orange cats, if they're solid orange, are mostly orange. So you had an orange cat. I do. I do have an orange cat. Thank you for, for remembering. His Jeffrey. name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And uh, he, he's he's more typical of the uh, of, of the sex. They're, they're usually males, for some reason. Keep the sex out of it. And he's got all his parts. And he. Right. And he lets you know it. Is taking a weird turn. <laughs> He's very protective. He's very guarded. As most species are. You gotta be careful how you pick them up and stuff. He get, I got a little yelp out of him Again. the other day. I always wondered what would happen and I accidentally uh, okay. must have gotten a little too personal there. There's 20 straight lines right in there. You gotta be careful how you pick them up. It's parts. Alright, never mind. We're not going down that road. We're gonna keep it high class here. A few more cocktails and maybe you, you wouldn't have been able to resist. Or Jocko when you need. A little later in the evening. That's why we start things out at happy hour here where people are kind of pacing themselves. And my blue. Aren't these tears in these eyes telling you, my blue, you'd be too. If each plan with your man done fell through, there was a time. between you and downstairs except the carpet but uh, I'm sure there was a, a better explanation than I have for uh, that type of thing in my establishment Watching is a rerun. There's some hockey players, ladies and gentlemen. They got their, they got 
got their girls with them. Maybe they're hockey players too. I don't think so. Those are the girls behind the hockey players. Yeah, I love. Them. I went up and down them too. They're so cool. I love that they're brats. You know what was cool, Marino, is um, I felt so cool. The uh, I was here setting up, and um, you know I'm meeting people for the first time, and the, the building um, engineer, Michael, came up, and uh, to talk about the heat or something, showing off how well it worked. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, and then he he asked me what time he should turn the elevators on, the escalators on, every Friday. Yeah. I felt like... so powerful. And you said? I said 4.30. Four, oh, 4.30, that's Cause, good. Because we started 5. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent I told. Time. I asked him to run them in reverse until then. <laughs> keep people from bugging me when I'm setting up. Well, you realize they could still get up here. <laughs> yeah, I know. If they're in time. Oh, you may. They just run twice as fast. You may. Okay. Yeah, but isn't that cool? It's so cool with those es those escalators. I love it. It's like uh, James Bond. You know, you come in and then there's the bar. I'm right. describing this. I'm painting a mental a picture for the people at home or wherever you're watching from. And uh, you, you come in and there's the bar. It's really nice. And then right next to the bar is the bottom of the escalators. Perfect. Perfect. You get valet on there. Parking. Don't forget the valet. The valet. Yeah, first I valeted. So, so did I. Yeah, usually I'm pushing my little hand truck well, down the street. Like valet parking. You know? Yeah. So, um. It's for, you know, it's for Charles. Like, Charles took care of me down there in valet parking. Good man. Yeah. You know, it's like Peggy Farrell. She's 91. She needs valet parking. Is she 91? I went to her birthday party. She's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And whenever we go out and I go, Peggy, you're going to come up. She's like, oh, where am I going to park? <laughs> here? Yeah. Valet. I know. I even used it here. I and I live next door. <laughs> but I had my stuff. You know what I did is I moved my rehearsal space from the mansion to the shop because it's easier to heat. It's just brutal, you know, So for the winter. So... I had to pack everything into the car. It wouldn't make any sense to like unpack the car, put it on my hand truck, and walk over like I do with the Statler. So, um, you know, pulled up and used a hotel, one of those hotel carts, yeah. like they have in the movies, the old movies. I think you should just rent a room here and just put it up there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It'd be great to have like a room here just to hang my coat. Come down the elevator, boom. <laughs> Like half. Remember the, the original black and white? We're always thinking. Not a good thing. Henrietta says meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Henrietta. She says meow. he tunes in he's gonna miss he's gonna miss this tune tonight he's probably busy getting somebody out of the joint you must remember this a kiss is just a kiss And when two lovers move, 
angels say I love you and that you can rely the fundamental things apply as time goes by icebreaker than the cutter on the Niagara River. Zach liked that one. He, he likes preservation humor. Who doesn't? People love preservation in Buffalo because we have so many old cool things. Most of them are on two legs. Now it's official. 
I didn't, I couldn't believe it either. I'm in shock. I mean, yeah, me too. I'm and, both, but I am yeah, so yeah, I know the feeling. I was, I was in shock when they came up and unlocked it. And we were both in shock. I didn't even know if it was still in the building. Nick off on me. Oh yeah, he's Nick. Nick, Nick. He'll give you a haircut, all right. Whether you need one or not. How do you like my haircut, Nick? I did it myself. I took a little extra time because I knew I was going to be in show business this week. I know it's got some problems. But... No, this phone. The face is the bad part, yeah. <laughs> Never ask a rubber if you need a haircut. No, I know. No, he's he's I, he's always I can always count on him to give me an honest appraisal of my do it yourself haircut. I started doing it during the lockdown because you kinda had to. And um and then I, I enjoy doing it. Episode 1 of 2022, we've got some hockey players getting ready to kick some butt. These guys look like they can handle themselves. For those of you uh, that are new to Lounge Academy, Give you a little bit of the backstory because this is reality piano bar that means if you're not here we gossip about you and even if you are here we gossip about you right in front of you but we prefer if you gossip about yourself right in front of a camera we'll be doing more of that uh, next week when we uh, <laughs> when we have some bar stools right around the piano that's when people really let loose supposed to come here tonight. Yeah, he was all excited. Except, you know what though, it could all come down to whether he finds a parking spot. Oh, true. He's not Yeah, which, which I, no, he won't do that. Which, which I will not take personally if he's, um, if he turns around and goes home because he can't get a free parking spot, because he used to do that for, for Jocko, too. He'd miss a whole night of Jocko because he couldn't get a free parking spot. That's how we are in Buffalo. We have principles. Is it an earthquake? This one's for Kathy, too. She likes this song. Is it an earthquake, Kathy? Or simply a shock? Is it the good turtle soup? Or merely the muck? Is it the cocktail? This feeling of joy? Or is what I feel the real? Socialite. What a life. Until 
he fell off a horse. And his, his, his life went downhill after that. Don't get on a horse if you have anything to live for. Is it an earthquake or simply a shock? Not I see. them spit in their drink. Did you ever feign wanting to be friends with somebody when, when really you just wanted to jump in the sack with them eventually? <laughs> yeah. Or cultivate a, a full spectrum romance? Because there's so much more than just jumping in bed. So they tell me. <laughs> Mary looks lovely. 
Julie tonight with her exposed shoulders and back and her glittery nightgown. We finally got her on the program to go full sex pot at these things. Would you bring this in? How'd I bring it in? I used a, uh, oh this? It was sitting here. Yeah. It's Jocko's old piano. By coincidence. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. No, I am. I wanted everybody to like it. I thought, I, should, I knew they would. I mean, how can you, this is just unbelievable. Look at this, everybody. Now we get the night view. I don't think they have prime room. Look at that. used to be a beautiful steakhouse. This is, this is our view. This is your view, Lounge Cadets. And there's Ryan and Zach. Is this cool or what? Very expensive. We could pack like 300 people in this in this area. Theoretically. If we got every lounge cadet here at once. And there's Main Street. It's just amazing. You could just sit here and you could just sit here and look. See, everybody's just pointing, you know. Thank you. There's Main Street, the train goes by there. It's hard to see. I didn't say something dirty. And then we got this whole beautiful area. And we're, we're right over the bar. So if you come down here, you go to the bar, you get your drink, and then you hit the brass escalator, which is like right at the bar. And it brings you right to the roof of the bar where we are. We got our lounge academy area here, which is, we feel really at home. And the, uh, the, the Hyatt people here are just fantastic. I don't know why they're so nice to me. They, they must have me confused with somebody else. In Albany, New York, my Uncle Ralph and my Uncle Frank. My Uncle Frank was a, he was a boxer. Yeah, sure. yeah, and he, you know, Frank, Frank was a Michael boxer. Frank could take his nose and go. <laughs> yeah, he could move his nose because it was broke. Yeah, he'd go like this. When we were kids, he'd play with Frank and go, watch this. <laughs> he'd oh, his nose back. I'm having trouble seeing them. They're there. Yeah. So, yeah. Dialing in this camera for you guys. Who are your friends? You guys look so cool standing over there in that vista. You know, it's like it's really a flattering uh, environment. You can't beat that vista. No. Can you look at this better view of Dragon Express? I just hope they don't make us, you know, be the ones that have to once in a while clean the windows. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll have to send Nick up there. He'll do anything. He's crazy. Yeah, lots of it. I would not be a good person for that job. How's our... Uh, uh, Let's check our. Uh, see, this is a miracle too. It's like I'm dreaming or something because I was. Let's see. I'm checking the. I can't see. I'm trying to see there. Oh, well, I can't see that well. That far camera. I'm, I'm, I'm testing to see Nick if the uh, cameras are in synchronization with each other. Um, we, we had a problem up until now with that, up until tonight, and I think I got it resolved. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, the same, yeah, it was a real problem. Even people on the internet had the same problem and they couldn't solve it. Karen Lizzie, she's in Florida watching. I'm gonna wave to Lizzie. There, I waved. 
I pressed the button that said wave. I'm going to wave at Barbara Fisher too and Barb O'Neill just because I'm feeling feisty. Anyway, back to my uh, preamble for this song. This is the end. Of a beautiful friendship. It ended a moment ago. This is the end. so natural. He looks so natural, doesn't he? <laughs> What's that? Uh, no, not, not at all. Oh, I love the... They, they say that's what you should do. Like if you have to give a, do public speaking, they say uh, undress the audience in your mind. I'd forget what the hell I was talking about if I did that. It would remind me of high school swim class. That was back in the days at Kenmore East when they'd make you swim naked. Canisius too? I could understand Canisius, but we weren't that good looking at Ken Maurice. I could tell you with certainty. The times they are changing.
day in one in town had me low and had me down I viewed the morning with alarm British Museum had lost its charm Miracles had come and passed so suddenly. I, I saw you there, a foggy London town. The sun was shining everywhere. Could this thing last? Nick the age of miracles. Ooh, it came and passed. When suddenly I saw you there, a foggy London town. The sun was shining. Thanks, Nick. Listen to that. That's a smattering. Thank you for the smattering. <laughs> Smatterings are good because they, they, there's always a pause before a smattering where they're giving it intellectual focus and then they decide for any number of reasons whether to do a smattering of a pause. And I could tell this was a good one. They're smattering. I like this room, you know, it has a there's a somebody's got the head. I thought How would you like to cut that hair? Our new lounge does definitely has the, the din of a fine hotel, doesn't it? The, the, the background din, there's like a, there's like a, I, I feel like a, a soft like, din in the background. I feel like I'm at the top. Yeah, me too. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. Mary and I were saying the same thing earlier. So it's like taking a vacation. Without leaving the farm. Nick's biding his time. That's the kind of guy I'm. When other folks grow dizzy, I'm keeping busy. I'm biding my time. Next year, next year. Something's bound to happen this year, this year. Coca Cola's in the lounge. I'm biding my time. That's the kind of guy I'm. There's no regretting when I'm satin. I'm biding my time. Coca Cola, ladies and gentlemen. How about a round of applause for the great Paul Kakoda? He's known as the, Does he have the music? He's known as the Janus Oaken of lounge piano. <laughs> he's the critic. And he's, and he's qualified. The other critics have been around the block. Paul's been around the streets.
now it's really official. The new season is off to a great start. We've got Paul Kakoda. some great tunes, some Three Stooges songs. We're two and a half hours into our new season here on WBIG TV, season 2022, which we're happy to have you a part of. All two of you watching. You're watching Lounge Academy, Reality Piano Bar. WBIG TV. It's called Reality Piano Bar because because these lounge cadets, which you are one of, create better plot lines than anybody could write. The next week, when we get our bar stools around the piano, you'll get to hear from them directly sordid details of their sex debates. everything here and you sort it out. I just 
want to look outside at the Buffalo Savings Bank and the, and the White the White House, the White Tower, as they call it. Of course, punctuating that beautiful view is the billboard that says injured. President of WBIG TV. This couldn't have been better. We, we uh, love the. Love I, I agree. Show. It really could not be better. No. In fact, it's better than it could be. Yeah. yeah. This is great. I mean, who could ask for anything better than this view, this location? And of course, Howard. It's amazing. Oh, well, Ryan, you don't have to say that. But, and, but, but go ahead. And, and you're playing this Thank you, Frederick. historic piano. Yeah, I know. I don't know what more you could want, really. No, and, and, and they're, they're so, I don't know why they're so nice to us here. They must have us confused with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's amazing. And I'm glad we're up here. Me too. Downstairs is nice and all, but this is where we belong. And yeah. we've already seen Yeah, we were debating about where to be. People are not afraid to come up the escalator. We had 
young teenage hockey players coming up the Espinal. Preteen. Preteen. Yeah. I'm old, so I don't know. I noticed they had girlfriends. They're preteen. They had girlfriends. That's what happens when you're a big hockey star. And if they come up and see us, then you know you never know who's going to come. Up. Everyone's going to come up. Yeah. 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 They're going to have to get more chairs. Oh, this is just uh, perfect. It would have been. Well, I never would have known what we were missing if we had chosen something else. And I like that it's a nice, comfortable, carpeted place with plush chairs. You know, that's something that's rare these days. Chairs we're familiar with because we sat in at EB Greens for years. It's yeah, like you know, being home. A lot of places they want to put you in a cold, uncomfortable place, but this is nice. Yeah. And they've got good heat in here. Yeah. In fact, Michael, the building uh, engineer, came over and was very proud of this heat. Yeah. It's comfortable. For, yeah. So I have no complaints. I like the acoustics. Um, now, I, I can only hear where I am. We can hear you downstairs. When I was standing at the bar, I could clearly hear you down there. Both the piano and the vocals? Yeah. yeah. That's great. So you don't have to be loud, but the acoustics yeah. carry. I mean, it wasn't like That's it was... how the Statler was. So it was a little more echoey. Yeah, I think... We got the carpeted the floor. Carpet helps. But it doesn't absorb it so much that you wouldn't know. If, you're, if you happen to be downstairs, you know that there's somebody playing the piano. It's very evident. Well, we got all that reflective surfaces yeah. above us. You know, that's a good combination when you got some reflective surfaces... But yeah. then, you don't want to something to keep it from going. Yeah. So, I can't wait until next week. And everybody at home, we're glad to have you here. And maybe some of you at home, if you're local, might want to come down here sometime. And maybe if you're not local, you might want to fly over to see us. We've had quite a few people come into town. Some of them big stars, like Alex Leonard. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, I don't want to get stupid either. Well, this, this starts our, really our, our 12th year um, at these uh, down, downtown in public. Goodbye, Alan. There he goes. There goes Alan. Where are you guys heading next? Maybe we'll catch up with you. Tudor and then what? Days Park? Okay. For those that want to catch up and rub elbows with these celebrities, that's the Tudor Lounge and then followed by the... No, uh, the No, no. What did he say? The Days Park Tavern. The Days Park Tavern, which is a place, great, great place on Hurdle. It's not No, on Hurdle. It's not Days Park. It's on, on Allen. In Allen Town. Yeah. And they have... Uh, but they don't want you there if you're not vaccinated. Well, now they get the hell out. Now they probably do. You think so? Nobody cared. They didn't care when they did require it, but now they probably don't at all. Just want to give people fair warning. No, they, everybody was just doing that because they didn't want to enforce masks. Mary is making a good point. She's saying, "Why is everybody leaving? Let's make some noise. Maybe we could turn the room." We have a real piano here. Yeah. Best, the best of the best. Can you imagine if some idiot had come in here and they were playing this piano and they're like, "What's all this shit?" And they just ripped off. Oh, that would be that would be just like grievous. I'm so glad that you are the one who's here. So really, thank you, Ryan. This Power. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. I'm very oh, glad you're here for, for this historic My night. Song. Which one is that? I need a little reminder. Oh, and, well, you know so many good songs. You've had so many great requests. That's why I can't keep really them track. And well, I'm an you. old soul in a young body. <laughs> yeah, putting it mildly. <laughs> Better give it back. They're going to get upset. <laughs> Everybody
everybody likes the, uh, the new arrangements. Even Nick likes it. Start again? Yeah. The whole night? Okay. This heart of mine. This is for Nick. Was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as Nick could tell. Suddenly I met you. When I woke up singing sentimental overtures, this heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine. Thank you, Ryan and Zach. This crazy world is taking on. Wonderful design as long as life endures. It's yours, this heart of mine. Oh, yeah, I, I did. Oh, I got one of them. What was it? What were the two again? I'll be around. Yeah, I think I got that for you. I was in such a rush to get ready. And I forgot all about it. Glad to be on camera. Yeah, that one I didn't I didn't find yet. But I did dig out I'll be around just for you. Did you know? That never stopped me. Did you talk? Well I'm familiar with it. Right. You know, and uh, I just needed I just gotta remember where I put it. Did I did I bind it? Oh, here it is. I didn't find it yet. I was going to make it a permanent part of our collection. Here's from Paul Kokoda by request. A shout out to John D. And all his stewardesses. Who all miss him, I'm sure. Somewhere in the world there is 10,000 stewardesses oh, going to sleep tonight thinking of John Dutkovich, their favorite photographer. He was the official photographer for the airlines. Have fun on the escalator on the way way down. 
use the stairs. Don't, don't, you can't slide down it. Unless you want to. There they go. There goes Glamour, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can gossip about them. It gets your mind off how much you're being charged when you write a song in a taxi cab. <laughs> well, somewhere along the line, you got to develop a tan There goes Nick and Kathy with their first historic trip to the ladies' and men's room here at the Hyatt. We've had a great night for an opening night. This couldn't have gone better. It, it, was like a, it was like a soft opening. A song, Mary. Yeah, the sun goes down. Tina says, see you next week. You got that, Tina? Can we see them all? I think we're gonna we're gonna play that some other time. Some other time. Do you know it? I think we'll we'll wrap it up for, for tonight. The official hours will we're till 7 30 or, right. or whenever. But um, you know it's 10 to 8. We'll, uh, <laughs> leave them, leave them I mean, I, screaming for this more. Is a, one, of my, this is the one of the rules of show business that you learn here at Lounge Academy. Well, thanks everybody for uh, joining us here at our, uh, the maiden voyage of our uh, 2022 edition of Lounge Academy, entering our 12th year and our first um, first uh, Lounge Academy uh, show from live from the Hyatt Regency Buffalo. It, in another sense, it was a return engagement because I. I Played here a few times, filling in for Jackie Jocko in 2014. Might have been 2014 and 2015. It was spanned over a couple of months, and uh, it was on this very same piano. And, and it's a thrill to be back uh, eight years later with the Lounge Cadets and uh, here and and. Uh, at home or where, wherever you're, you're watching from, and from all over the all over the world tonight. So I think we'll call it we'll call it a night here. Quite while we're ahead, you know. Um, <clears throat> here we go. 
I'll give you one more look at the Vista here. I'm going to give you guys a, a brief tour as we sign off. I'm going to switch switch camera microphones. Here it is. There we go. Okay. Where'd everybody go? Okay. Yes, I think about it a lot. Yeah. What a he was this person. Yeah. 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 Andy. Andy was the best. He was. He was so supportive. You know, and he always was. He loved being part of it. He knew so much music. I know. I think you know. He gave me a little bit of a little taste of what he gave his son, uh, Michael. Um, the encouragement and the knowledge, and I, 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 it, I, they always I made me think of Michael wow. A few times before I Mike met Andy. growing up with Andy, you know, yes. that was a, I'm sure oh. a big part of his greatness. Oh yeah, Andy knew. Oh, did he know music, especially big band? Yes. Gonna give you guys a little. Here's a corner where I stashed my stuff. There's the Chinese Dragon, Dragon Express. If you want some Chinese food, uh, well, they were open, they, but the flaming the flaming fish is still open right across the street there. A little hard for you to make that out, but um, yeah, Main Street is is reawakening, and uh, the Starbucks looks like they closed shop for the night. By this time of the day, uh, I think everybody's had enough caffeine. Otherwise, they won't they won't sleep. And you can see the the great acoustics that result from this spacious area. And uh, here we'll, we'll interview Nick and uh, Kathy. Oh, I know you're very under the Kathy, I'm so glad you came out on I'm glad our soft here. opening. And good luck to you, Howard, and I love it that you have Jack and Jocko's piano. Yeah, that was a real that bonus, just, a real plus. It's such a sentimental thing, really. I love it. You do well. It's also a great piano. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. You what know? did Doug, um, Paul say about it? Well, Paul, you know, Paul loves it, all this stuff. I know. I know. <laughs> you know her? Oh, I owe her money. I better go. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, thanks. Thank you. Look at look at Nick with the Vista behind him. Looks like a yeah, it looks great. like a poster behind him. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming out, Nick. It's always, always right. your presence is always necessary here to make this <laughs> a complete <laughs> evening. You need somebody to be the butt of you know <laughs> of your jokes. I do do I do do. There he goes. See that? See what he does? But through dear, when I'm close to you, dear, the stars fill the sky. So in love. With you and I, in love with the night, mysterious, the night that you were there. In love with my joy, delirious, that I be there. I haven't been singing. You sound, really, you sound like you've been working at it. You get better when you don't sing. But you sound good. You got a natural good voice. You got a good sound box. But my whole family had. Were they singers? But they, they sang uh, not in big time, you know. But they they sang. Yeah. Yeah, around the house, in the jail. 
Yeah, no, you got so much resonance in your voice, and you got such great phrasing. You know, it really makes me sick when you do that. Why? Well, because you just have it. You know, you just got it. Oh, you're jealous. I'm jealous. Here. <laughs> Let's give people a tour, Nick. I'm going to show people the, before we sign out to give you an idea. When you come down here, you come up, you, you go to the bar, which is right, right down. That's the bar, right? You can't see it, but it's right below us. Right below us is the bar, and then you come up at the brass escalators, and here you are at Lounge Academy. This is. What are you going to do? Ride the escalator? Huh? I'm giving them a tour. And then we've got the upper deck. So we get a really big parties. And you're right here. Um, the train goes right by here. It feels like it's going to hit you. And it's it's very warm in here. It's very comfortable. These are, these are surrounded by radiators. There's a WBIG TV camera right here, in case you're wondering how this works. There's one right there. And, um, I, I like this right here. This is something. What a view. This, this is a better look view. Look at this view. Right, right straight there. Yeah. Right straight to, no, it's just like that. Right here. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Beautiful. What, what are you doing here? The, the bar? You like to look at the beam? Yeah, where you go all the way down and all the uh, You go look down the street. There's a guy there's a guy getting mugged. You get a good view from up here. There's a car driving on the railroad tracks. It still makes me nervous to do that, to drive on the reopened Main Street, because you're driving on railroad tracks. And there's the uh, steps to success across the street at the M&T Buffalo Savings Bank. I must have walked by this place here, right here. Yeah. At least 500 times. Was it evident? All the action was Now it is again, now that Lounge Academy is here. There's shades. You can see the shades sign up there. It's kind of small oh, in this frame because this is wide angle, but it's, it's actually very close. Um, They'll never not in there. They better not. My money's in there. <laughs> And that's where the State Liquor Authority is, in, in the White House, the, the, the White Building. That's where you go to get your liquor license. I don't drink. You don't have to drink to sell booze and make money. Oh, you mean just people right. This is the setup. Crazy, but true, dear. When I'm close to you, dear, the sun fills the sky. Or knock it out before you get a slaw thrown out. You sound good though. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks everybody for making uh, tonight uh, such a special night. It really could not have gone better. Our soft opening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like this Yeah, did you know you were alive? Oh, hasn't it? All right, we'll see you all next week. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Good night, Holly.
I see you out there watching. Let's see if we can do this without coming Every off week, the end of the... Every week you come no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this day. Yeah.